John Author spent nearly 30 years at the Financial Times, head of the Lex column and chief markets commentator, and now he's Bloomberg's senior editor for markets, and we welcome him now. Great to have you here, John. Well, it's good to be here. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about the midterms, because yes. you came out with a note that covered a lot of things for all of us at Bloomberg, yeah. but part of that was what the markets are set up for in the midterms. What's your take? Well, my take at the moment is that the markets are in line with all the political pundits, that they're expecting that the House is going to fall to the Democrats and that, there are, and that the, uh, the Senate won't, uh, and that ultimately that is a nothing-to-see-here kind of an election result. It doesn't dramatically change the agenda. It slows things down a bit, um, and that's about as far as it goes. Now, the way I chose to illustrate that, uh, Goldman Sachs has these very interesting uh, baskets of stocks, and they've got a basket of the stocks that have the highest effective tax rate, i.e. those that have done at least good job of uh, negotiating uh, loopholes over the years, and those were obviously the ones that benefited the most from the, uh, the tax cut last year. And if you take a look at that chart, you can see that it really does map what most of us think of as, uh, as uh, President Trump's political trajectory. Big jump at the beginning, then a steady loss last year as he appeared to be losing control of the agenda, and then a leap forward when it becomes clear late last year that he really was going to get this tax cut. So through. is that because your judgment is it really is all about taxes, or is that sort of a surrogate for a larger basket of things having to do with deregulation and all sorts of other issues? It's primarily about, specifically about taxes, that particular basket, uh, and that's why you see that, that particularly strong move. And similarly, you've seen the strong follow-through this year because we've discovered that the, uh, the, uh, the extent of the boon, the bounty coming from the, uh, the tax, uh, tax cut was that much greater than had been expected. But what's interesting is that it hasn't done anything very much for the last few months as we've begun to focus on midterms and people have talked about a blue wave. Well, let's talk about what the markets are doing just mm. today because yes. there's a major sell-off going yes. on as we, it seems to be pretty much across the board. Yes. Is that because of some disappointing earnings this morning? Was that enough to really tip this? No. I mean, Caterpillar in particular has been very severely punished for its earnings, and they certainly gave macro fuel for a sell-off because they said that part of this was because of trade, trade war concerns, that they were spending more because of the tariffs on steel and so on. But it's hard to say that it's just about US earnings because if you look across the world, if the uh, MSCI has a, an index of the, the entire world developed in emerging markets excluding the US, that's now down more than 19% from its top earlier this year. It's lost all its gains since April of last year. This is plainly not primarily about the US. It's more, I think, made in China, ironically, given the, given the, the, uh, the uh, face-off between the US and China over trade at the moment. Well, that's a question. Is it How much mm. of it is China on its own, and how much is the US really putting it to China because of trade? How much of that is really weakening perhaps an already compromised position my, by China? My best guess is that it's more endemic to China, that, that China has... We know that we've got this serious overhang of debt in China for a while. My best guess is that it's more about uh, China's difficulties reconciling... You know, it's, it's trying to do what has historically been a very difficult thing, which is to deflate a bubble very slowly. It's accounted for roughly three-quarters of all the new mm. debt created by the private sector since mm. the crisis. Right. That's difficult to do. We know that they're very good at managing them. <laughs> they're very good at playing the hand they're given. We'll find out. This is tricky for them.